Hey, hey, good people, Arthur Morris here. In this video, we're going to identify linear equations. Uh, so the standard form for a linear equation is ax plus by equals c, uh, where a, b, and c are integers, and both a and b cannot be equal to zero at the same time. Okay? So that's the definition of a standard form of a linear equation. A, B, and C are integers, and A and B cannot both be equal to zero. One can, but not both of them. So we want to determine if the equation, uh, equations are linear equations. So part A, we have 0.04x minus 0.1y equals 2.2. Uh, this does not fit the definition in this form. Uh, because those numbers are not integers. However, if we multiply both sides by 100, because my decimal, the lowest, smallest decimal place is in the hundredths position, then if I multiply using my distributive property by 100, I would get 4x minus 10y equals 2 to 220. This definitely fits the definition of a standard uh, linear equation, so yes. Okay. Part B, we have 6x minus 7. Again, uh, the standard form will be ax plus by equals c. In this case, b and y are not there, which is fine. That I mean, meant that b was 0. So 6x equals negative 7. Yes, that's a linear equation. In standard form, that would look like 6x plus 0y equals negative 7. So, yep, that's a linear equation. And what that means, if you were to graph these, and there's a good website you can go to to graph, www.desmos.com. And I think you can also put the app on your uh, phones if you have Android or Apple. and you were to graph those equations, you would get a straight line. That's what linear means, that the graph of that equation would give us a straight line uh, with no breaks, no uh, curves, no breaks or anything in the graph. All right, C, we have 6x minus 5 plus 4y equals x minus 3. So to get that in standard form, we need the x and the y's on the same side, the numbers without x and y's on the opposite side of the equal sign uh, to determine if that is a, uh, linear equation. So we have 6x minus 5 plus 4y equals x minus 3. So um, I'm going to make a couple of moves here. We're going to add 5 to both sides and then we're going to subtract 1x from both sides. So 6x minus 1x is 5x plus 4y equals Two. So again, that fits the form of a standard equation of a line. Yes, ax plus by equals c. So if you can get it in that ax plus by equals c form, then it is a linear equation. Now d, we have a variable in our denominator that has a positive exponent 3 over x. So because we have this x in our denominator here, then no, that would not be a linear no, uh, equation. We cannot write it in the form of ax plus by equals c because the x is in our denominator of a fraction. All right, so let's look at another set of problems. All right, so um, the first one, part a, we have 8xy. Remember, we are looking for ax plus by equals c. We have 8xy plus 7y equals 4. So in this first term, I have x times y. We don't see that in a standard form of our equ equation, uh, standard form for the equation of a linear line. So no, that is not linear because that xy being multiplied within that one term. Part b, we have x to the third minus 3y equals 5. In our standard form, it's only the exponent of 1 on the x and the y. So no, this is not linear because of that exponent that's higher than 1. All right, part C, we have 4x minus 9y plus 5y equals y minus 7. So 4x 
Let's see if we can get X and Y on the same side in the number without the variables on the opposite side and see if it ends up in that form. All right, so let's add nine to both sides and let's subtract one Y from each side to get X and Y on the same side. So we have four X plus four Y equals two. That checks out, that's in the form of AX plus BY equals two. So yes, that's linear. All right, part D, now we have numbers in our denominator, but that could be fine because we can clear those uh, numbers out of our denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common multiple of our denominators, which is 10. So if I multiply both sides by 10, I should be able to clear those variables or those numbers, sorry, out of my denominator. So distributive property, let's go ahead and write this out. 4x over 5 plus 1 over 2 times 10 equals 10 over 10. So I just wrote out my distributive property. So we see that 5 goes into 10 2 times. 2 times 8 or 4x is 8x. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 times y is 5y. And then 10 times 10 is 100. So yes, this is in the form of AX plus BY equals C. So yes, that is um, a linear equation. And let's use the same logic. Let's go back to the previous uh, page and use the same logic where we have that variable in our denominator. And you will see that, um, that we'll end up with something that's not, definitely not linear. So this y plus 3 over x, what if we cleared the denominator there? Our least common multiple of our denominator is x. So I'm going to multiply using my distributive property um, everything by x to clear out my fraction, clear out my denominator. So I end up with x times y and then plus the x's cancel here, 3 plus, equals 0. So again, Right here, in this form, you see that we have x times y. We have two variables being multiplied together, which again tells me that that is not linear. Alrighty, good people. So that's what we came up with. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.